Jim Son is here with today's FanDuel Hurry Up, breaking down my top options for DFS at the RBC Heritage Open. In the upper tier, give me Colin Morikawa checking in at $11,800. Morikawa coming off a top five at the Masters, but Harbortown a much better fit for his style than what we had over in Augusta. Distance is not as required here. Morikawa ranks 18th in fairways gained over the past 50 rounds, according to Fantasy National. Morikawa also tremendous with his iron, so he's going to a spot that fits his style well. We know how good he is overall, I think Morikawa should be a building block for you in DFS. In the mid-range, Maverick McNeely checks in at $9,800, and McNeely provides a good blend of both current form and course history. McNeely last year finished fourth at this event. He's been golfing pretty well recently because McNeely ranks seventh in the field in birdies or better gain over the past 50 rounds, according to Fantasy National. McNeely is a mid-range salary at $9,800, should be easy to get to, and does provide upside for that salary. In the bottom tier, I want to go with Cameron Tringali. Tringali is not a guy in the best of form right now but most of his issues have come because he's not good off the tee but again Harper Town is not a spot where off the tee play matters as much as it does elsewhere Tringali can put the ball in the fairway when he wants to we know that the rest of his game has still been good despite the bad finishes Tringali he's good with his approach play he's a good putter as well and he should benefit from this specific course so Cameron Tringali $9,000 I'm expecting a bounce back for him this week at Harper Town that's all we got here for today on the FanDuel Hurry Up. I am Jim Sonis saying so long and good luck and go win yourself some cash on FanDuel this week.